Hello friends, this video on why do we fall ill part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at a first exercise. You will be given a set of options and you have to choose the right option. So under which of the following conditions is a person most likely to fall sick first when she is recovering from malaria, second when she has recovered from malaria and is taking care of someone suffering from chicken pox, third when she is on a four day fast after recovering from malaria and is taking care of someone suffering from chicken pox. So under which of these conditions you think that the person will fall sick? Okay, if you look at the first option, she when she is recovering from malaria, that means she has already suffered a lot from malaria. Now she is in the recovering stage. That means she is getting better day by day, right? So I don't think this is the correct option because she is getting better here. But the question is asking where she will fall even more sick. Next option. She has recovered from malaria and she is taking care of someone suffering from chicken pox. So in this case, the possibility of falling sick is more when compared to the first option. That's because now even though she is recovering, she is getting better day by day, but she is taking care of someone who is suffering from chicken pox and we know that pox is an infectious disease. That means it can spread from one person to another. So there is a possibility that she might get infected with chicken pox and again fall sick. Right? Now let us look at the third option. When she is on a four day fast after recovering from malaria and is taking care of someone suffering from chicken pox. So now you look at it. She herself is in the recovering stage where she is getting better day by day. In that period, she needs to take lot of rest. She should eat well to build up her immune system very well. But instead of that, what is she doing? She is on a four day fast. So four days she is not eating anything. That means her recoverance, what was happening to her, she was recovering, that will also get deteriorated because of her four day fast. So she will fall sick because of the four day fast. On top of that, she is taking care of somebody suffering from chicken pox. So there will be a good amount of possibility that she will also get infected with chicken pox, right? So third scenario is the one where the possibility is maximum that she will fall sick. Firstly, because she is on fast. So she is not building her, her, her body up because she has recently suffered from malaria. So she is already very weak. She should eat more. She should eat healthy, right? Instead of that, she is on fast. On top of that, she is taking care of somebody with chicken pox. So this is the best option, right? Okay, let us look at the next scenario. Under which of the following conditions are you most likely to fall sick? First, when you are taking examinations. Second, when you have traveled by bus and train for two days. Third, when your friend is suffering from measles. Okay, so in this case, the first option. Obviously, when you are taking examinations, you are not really happy. You are under tension. You are under stress. How good I'll be able to write? How much will I score? Whether I know the answer to this question or not? So you will have that mental pressure. But otherwise you will not fall sick immediately, right? Maybe after results, you might be. Second option, when you have traveled by bus and train for two days. So this will be a lot of physical exertion because you are in continuously traveling, you are not getting much rest, but uh, you will not be bedridden immediately. The third one, when your friend is suffering from measles. Now, when you are, your friend is suffering from measles, there is a good measles being a infectious disease which spreads easily from one person to another there is a good amount of possibility that you will also catch the infection and you will also suffer from measles so the possibility the maximum possibility of your falling sick is when your friend is suffering from measles now just think of this scenario we talked so much about diseases their symptoms and signs their cure let us talk about this scenario a baby is not able to tell her caretakers that she is sick. What would help us to find out that the baby is sick and what is the sickness? 
It is a very common scenario, right? Even in your home, you might have some small babies. You will see that they don't, they are not able to speak. A, a baby of six months old cannot say that I'm having headache, or the baby cannot say that I'm having stomachache, right? So how would you know that the baby is not well? So what are the symptoms which you generally look for, which tells you that the baby is not well? Maybe when the baby is crying too much, so repeated crying is one thing the first thing actually whenever the baby cries too much you get uh, you start making inquiries is everything okay with the baby right so when it is crying too much or maybe when it is vomiting you gave her something to eat and she's immediately vomited or she is having loose motions or maybe there is swelling in any part of the body maybe her hand is swollen or her throat is swollen so some kind of swollen or some kind of abnormalities in any part of the body or maybe she is rubbing any specific part of the body too much. For example, she is rubbing her eyes badly. So that might indicate that maybe there is some problem in her eyes. Right? Or maybe she is rubbing her hand very badly. So that can that can also give an indication that something might be going wrong with her hand, right? So these are some of the things which we generally look for or which we generally observe in a baby to make out whether she is fine or not. Now, what is the sickness? Now, depending upon the symptoms which we see, we can I mean, we can at, at least guess what kind of sickness it is. For example, if she vomits a lot, we might, uh, we, we can might say that maybe she's suffering from something like diarrhea. Or if she is vomiting, maybe there is some problem with her digestion. She is not able to digest the food which is given to her, right? So on the basis of the signs and symptoms, we can uh, guess what kind of sickness it is, right? So I hope that this video on this lesson why do we fall ill would have helped you and you would have understand the basic concepts behind what how diseases happen how infections spread and how they actually enter our body and affect our body and how can we prevent and treat them so please go through the lesson well understand the concepts understand things before you memorize them so see you all in the next lesson thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.